Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I'm so excited to film for you guys because today we are going to be using all of my yearly favorites in one makeup look. So I'm so excited because today I've got all of my favorite products from the year of 2020. These are all products that I used this year on my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to put them all together and come up with a makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just continue watching. Okay, so starting off with primer, I mentioned this one right here. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in the older packaging. This one has been discontinued, but since I have been loving this one and it's pretty much completely empty now, I've got maybe a couple more uses left. I have gone right ahead and purchased the updated packaging, so you'll see that one very soon. But I'm going to go right ahead and just apply this one straight onto the skin. So what I like about this one is the texture. It is this really beautiful lightweight gel texture, but I do really, really enjoy this primer. As I said, it's literally completely empty now. Like I've probably got maybe half a use, maybe one use left. I'm, I'm pretty much done with this one now. So you can see how much I loved it. So next for foundation, I've got two completely different products that I mentioned. The first one is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Medium to Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 119 Light Medium. I have been wearing this one so, so much much. You guys would have seen it in a lot of videos so far. It wears such a long time. It looks so smoothing on the skin and this is definitely an option that if you don't want to powder your skin you wouldn't have to because it does dry down quite matte but I have since picked up two other shades because this shade is a little bit dark on me. The one thing to note is definitely this formula does darken when it dries down so probably go a few shades lighter but the second one that I'm thinking of applying today is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This one here is in the shade Alaska which is light too. I've actually owned so many different shades of this. I've had light three which is called Greenland and medium one which is called St. Moritz. I would say the colors kind of run a little bit dark so to be honest light two wouldn't be something that you'd initially think I would be but it actually matches me pretty much perfectly. So the last time I applied this on camera for you guys was in my everyday makeup routine which I will leave up here for you guys to watch but I actually wear it so often off of camera so I figured let's go right ahead and apply this one to our skin. To apply the tinted moisturizer I'm going to go in with the Zoeva 104 buffer brush which is one of my favorites. So I'm actually going to start off with about this much product right here. To be honest if you're going to apply this with your hands which I do all the time and love to apply it that way I'd probably suggest even using a little bit less but because I know today I'm going to go in with a powder foundation later on which will really boost my coverage and since I'm using a brush which will absorb a little bit I am going to use a little bit more than I normally would so I'm just going to take a little bit of that straight onto the brush. And I'm going to go right ahead and just evenly distribute that all over the skin. So here's what the skin is looking like with just the tinted moisturizer and the primer on. As you can see, it definitely isn't full coverage by any means, but to me, this is the perfect amount of coverage if I'm planning on just wearing a little bit of something on the skin and then pretty much going about my day. I find that it does the most perfect job of just evening out my skin tone, hiding a little bit of my scarring and active pimples, but still not looking like a full face of makeup. But what I love about this tinted moisturizer is literally it feels like absolutely nothing on the skin. It really does build up really well. So if I wasn't about to put a powder foundation over the top of this, I could continue to build this up until I'm pretty happy with the coverage. But as I said, if you want a tinted moisturizer that is going to feel like nothing, wear really, really long, especially on oilier skin. I love this one so, so much. And I honestly will forever have this in my collection. It is definitely one of my go-to tinted moisturizers and just foundation products in general. I genuinely, I love it. <laughs> so next for under eye concealer, I did mention two completely different concealers. I love them both, but for a very different reason. The first one is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have three different shades. And then the second one is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer and once again I have three different shades here. So I love them both for a very different reason. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer I love underneath the eyes because it is really lightweight, really skin-like, really hydrating, really moussey and it just looks just like skin and I find that this is something that I can wear especially with a tinted moisturizer or even on my glamour looks but it just means that my under eyes will kind of look like skin. They don't look too heavy. It blends like butter and it wears a long time. The second one is completely different as I mentioned. It is definitely a concealer that you want to use the less is more kind of idea with it. It lasts on the skin almost an eternity. It dries down to a demi matte finish so it definitely does have kind of that makeup-y full coverage glam but this is so flawless underneath the eyes. As I said it 
wears so long. If I wanted something for every day that is going to be good enough to build but still look like skin, I'll reach for NARS. If I know straight off the bat I want full coverage glam, I will go for the dose of colors. So I think for today, let's go right ahead and use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer because I only recently showed you the dose of colors one. So as I said, I've got three different shades in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've got the shade Light 2 Vanilla, which is the lightest one that I own. The second one is Light 2.5 Creme Brulee, which has a little bit more of a peachy undertone. So if I'm looking really dark underneath the eyes, I will reach for this one. And then the last one you can see, I have pretty much scraped the entirety of. And this is Medium 1 Custard, which is the darkest one and the most natural looking. So I think for today, let's go right ahead and use Light 2 Vanilla underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna go right ahead and just pop a decent amount underneath the eyes. And I'm also gonna pop a little bit on top of the eyelids. And then I might take a little bit of medium one custard and I'm just gonna take that through the center of the face and along the chin. And then to blend that out, I've been really enjoying this brush right here from Real Techniques. This is the 300 Deluxe Crease Brush. It's meant to be for the eyes, but I've been finding it works perfectly well for concealer. So I'm gonna go right ahead and start blending out the darker color first. And then I'm gonna go right ahead and start blending out the lighter shade underneath the eyes. And then to spot conceal around my face, there is no better concealer in the world than this product right here. I have loved this for such a long time. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in two different shades. I've got Medium 1 Custard and Medium 1.5 Macadamia. I'll show you what they look like. So this one here is Custard and this one here is Macadamia. Do you see how much I've really dug into these? I've gone through, I don't know how many of each at this current point. I've definitely gone through at least like three of each. And it is definitely one of my absolute top tier holy girl products that I will not refuse. I absolutely refuse to swap out for my collection. It is just perfect. It has so much coverage. It looks like skin. It dries down to a demi matte finish. It lasts forever. It completely conceals acne, pimples, scarring, just everything. It is the most perfect spot concealer for the whole entire face. I even like it underneath the eyes, but I feel like a lot of the times I will reach for my Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I love this so much. Like 10 out of 10 top tier favorite product ever. So I think right now I'm probably a little bit closer to custard, I reckon. Yeah, I think we'll use custard. So I normally just take my ring finger and scoop out a tiny bit from the container and then I pop it on the back of my hand and I normally just take that same ring finger and pat over my blemishes. And you can see it completely gets rid of them. It is the most amazing concealer in the whole entire world. And I have yet to find anything that even comes close to it. So next to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with this product right here that I've loved all through 2020. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil in the shade Light to Medium. Even though we're using a powder foundation all over the skin, I still like to set my under eyes in any wet concealer areas because I find that the powder foundation can sometimes grip onto those wet areas and get a little bit darker in some spots. So I find that just by adding a little bit of a lighter powder underneath the eyes, just a light wash of powder, it really does help the powder foundation to look a little bit smoother and a little bit more even so I'm going to go right ahead and take this powder and start setting my under eyes. So to do that I'm going to use the Real Techniques 402 setting brush which looks like this. It is the perfect size to get right underneath the eyes in the center of the forehead and right through the center of the face. It is such a good brush and it's really affordable so I'm going to take a little bit of that powder. Look at that timing. We literally just hit pan. Do you see that little hint of pan right there? That was meant to be. So I'm gonna go right ahead and tap that off the brush and I'm going to just set the under eyes. But I don't know if you can already see how much smoother that side looks. It is so, so good of a powder. I love it. It's meant to be kind of like a touch-up finishing powder, but I find that just a little bit of this goes so perfectly to set your under eyes. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and set the center of my face too. So next for powder foundation, I'm going to go into this one from Bare Minerals. So this is the Bare Minerals Ready SPF 20 foundation in the shade R270. I know that they've actually updated this and it's now called the Bare Pro foundation and I did some research and it seems as though everyone actually prefers it to this one. So if you're interested, go right ahead and check that one out. But I've got this one on hand, so I'm going to use this one today. And then to apply that, I'm going to use this Real Techniques 204 buffing brush, which I've been really enjoying for powder foundation. So I'm going to go right ahead and tap into that product product. And I'm basically just going to go right ahead and do a light patting first. 
So you can see it makes a massive difference. This side right here has the powder foundation and the tinted moisturizer and this side just has the tinted moisturizer alone. So you can see it does actually add a whole stack of coverage and I would say especially if you have oily skin you'd really enjoy this idea because it really does lock the tinted moisturizer down especially because we're wearing masks right now I find that it really does help prevent the transfer because everything is really nicely set. So I'm going to go right ahead and even myself out. So next to contour, I have these two products to talk about right here. The first one is Benefit Hula, which is a classic. I have gone through so many of these. I find that this is such a good, reliable contouring powder. As I said, I have a lot of different favorites that I haven't talked about, but this one is one that I did kind of rediscover this year. Probably about a month before I filmed my everyday makeup routine, I got back into this one and I really have been enjoying it. So I've hit major pen on this one. And then the second one, talking about things that I rediscovered this year, this is the Steeler Stay all day contouring bronzer for face and body and I have two different shades so I'll actually just show you what these all look like on the insides because you'll understand how much I loved it. So the first one is in the shade light so you can see it is a massive pan of bronzer but I've hit major pan on this so you can see how much I really did love this. It has got such a good tone to it and I find that you can really build these ones up so this is the first one in the shade light and then here are my two in the shade medium so you can see I really did love this product so much. This is the first one that I picked picked up and as you can see I hit major pan in it and as soon as I found out that Stila was discontinuing it I bought a backup and you can see I've already started on my backup too. It was such a perfect perfect bronzer and contour and it was so big because it's designed for the face and the body and I love this one so much so I'll demonstrate it for you guys today but just know that I also love Hula if this one is not something that you have your hands on already. So to apply that I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques 206 contour brush which I really love the shape of so I'm going to tap that straight into the contour powder and I'm going to start contouring my face and then I'm going to do a little bit of contouring against my nose. So next for bronzer, I mentioned these three options right here. So you can see I've got two individuals and this palette right here. Don't judge me on this palette. You can see I loved it for such a long time. It is filthy. It has absolutely been abused. But what I love this palette for is the contents on the inside. This product right here is NARS Laguna Bronzer, which has been a part of everyone's collection at one stage or another, but I've loved it for so many years now. This is such a cold classic bronzer. It looks so smooth and beautiful and warm on the skin. I find that this is probably one of the only bronzers that you could possibly also use as a contour as well with the right brush. I think it would look really beautiful. So that's Nars Laguna. The next one is the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer. This is a classic. I had not touched this one in such a long time and I rediscovered it in 2020. It is such a good bronzer. It is actually a little bit deeper than Laguna is but I love the packaging. I think it is so cute. As you can see it is actually very similar but a little bit more matte and a little bit darker. This one I would say you need a pretty light hand. You can get very heavy handed with this one very very quickly but on the skin it is so pretty so that's what that one looks like and then the last one that I think I'll use today is this one from Shantakai. I loved this bronzer I actually have a backup of it that I'll show you guys in a haul sometime soon this is such a beautiful duo it's got a bronzer and a highlight I have absolutely gone through so much of this I think you can't even tell on camera but I'm pretty much close to hitting pan on both of them what I love about this particular bronzer is it literally is like a pressed jelly mousse consistency. It doesn't make sense until you kind of look at it. It definitely is a powder but it definitely performs like a cream. It is so rich and creamy and buildable and blendable. It never looks patchy. It can go from super sheer to super tan. It is just one of the most unique impeccable formulas of bronzer there is. It is not an affordable option but it is worth every single dollar. This particular duo you can't buy anymore but I wish that they would bring back. This is actually the La Serena Bronzer Highlighter duo so you can actually buy the bronzer on its own but the highlight doesn't exist anymore. As I said this for the bronzer alone it is just chef's kiss perfection so I wanted to show you what it looks like on the skin today. So I might just go back into the Real Techniques 206 brush and tap into the bronzer and I'm gonna go right ahead and just lightly warm up the skin. 
So next for highlight, as I said, we do have that really beautiful jelly-like formula from the Shantakai La Serena Duo. It is such a gorgeous highlight, but once again, seeing as you can't buy it anymore, this year I actually discovered the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Fuego highlight, which is my favorite shade out of the three. I do own Chasing the Sun and Mirame as well, which are the other two shades, but something about Fuego just works so nicely on my skin tone. It looks like this is the most beautiful, warm, peachy gold, so I definitely have been in love with this one. So to apply that I'm going to go in with this Dose of Colors fan brush and I'm going to go right ahead and start highlighting my cheeks. So you can see it's got the most beautiful warm gold peachy undertone. From the front you really can't see that it's there but from the side it is this really beautiful blinding highlight and you can really build these ones up. So the more you apply the stronger the colour but I found that straight off the bat Mirame and Chasing the Sun had the wrong undertone and depth for me. So definitely Fuego is my favourite shade out of the three. And then for blushes we did mention quite a few different options so I'll show you what these all look like. The first one right here is this one that we've already spoken about from NARS. This blush palette has four different blushes in it, but the two shades that I've been really obsessing over are Orgasm, which is the classic in the center, and then this one, which is called Luster. But I have definitely gotten my use out of all the shades in this palette. The next one is this palette from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Crush on Blush palette, and this has a variety of different products in it. I've definitely been loving this palette for the blushes, but both the bronzer and the highlight have come in handy too as well. So you can see the bronzer's a lighter, brownie neutral tone and the highlights kind of more of a pinky champagne but you can see the top two are both a pinky undertone so you've got a rosy and kind of like a light pink option and then you've got a kind of warmer lighter apricot color and then a darker tangerine as well but I love this palette so much I wish they still sold it so I won't touch on it for too long but I do really love this product the next blush I've used so much this year is from Bare Minerals this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude blush in the shade Pink Me Up it is such a beautiful matte pink and I find that especially if I have some texture on my cheeks I will reach for this one a lot because it definitely has a smoothing property to it I find that it's kind of more of a velvety blush than anything too illuminating so I have loved this one so much this year and then the last two blushes are both from Dose of Colors these were limited edition from the Mint For You collection these are the Blush Like You Mint It blushes and I've got two shades in the colors Amazement and Statement so this is what the color statement looks like. It is such a beautiful poppy pink color. I find that it's not too dark or not too bright. It is kind of that perfect in between. I wore this one quite recently in my Dramatic Blue makeup tutorial, which I'll leave in the eye up here for you guys to watch later on. But I did only just apply this one quite recently, so I think I'll use the other shade today. So here is what the other shade looks like. This one is in the shade Amazement, which is a little bit more of a corally peachy tone. So to apply that, I'm gonna take this brush right here, which is the Dose of Colors angled contour brush and I'm going to go right ahead and apply that from the apples of the cheeks back into the temples. So I went right ahead and I zoomed you guys in so we could start on the eyes. But starting off with some eyeshadow primer, there's only been one that has had my heart this whole entire year. This is from NARS. This is the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base in the original one. This is a mini, but I've had the full size a million and one times. But I had this one lying around, so I've been using it up. And as you can see, I am almost empty again with this. So I did actually just pick up a whole other backup. So I'm going to go right ahead and just pop a little bit over my eyelids. And then I'm going to take my finger and blend it out. So for eyeshadow palettes, I really struggled to narrow down this category because there's so many different eyeshadow palettes that I loved. So when I had to sit down and think about the ones that I found in 2020, these were the two that really stood out to me. So the first one is the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette. And the second one is the Gemma Isabella Cosmetics Laverna Palette. So I love both of these so, so much and I've used them a ton since they came out. So I thought we'd use a combination of these two palettes to create our eyeshadow look today. So I think I'll start off with the Gemma Isabella Cosmetics Laverna palette. So it comes with a little slip. So once you take it off, this is what the palette looks like. So I'm first going to start off with this brush right here. This is the Dose of Colors Blending Brush, which I've really been enjoying recently. And I'm going to start off with this shadow right here, which is called Teddy Bear. It is a beautiful neutral brown. And I'm going to start popping that through the crease. So next I'm going to tap into this shade here called Macchiato with the Dose of Colors Shader Brush. And I'm going to start popping that against the lash line in kind of a diagonal shape. So I'm kind of drawing a really fluffy wing. And then I'm going to flip the brush and start drawing it back through the crease. 
So next I'm going to take the Real Techniques accent brush and I'm going to tap into this shadow called Deja Vu. And I'm going to push that even lower against the lashes. And I'm going to slightly lift the ends. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to take a combination of Macchiato and Deja Vu on the Real Techniques shading brush. And I'm going to start smudging that underneath. And I want to make sure it's connected to the top. So for the lid, I might take a little bit of the shade Designer and Splash on the Zoeva 223 Petite Eye Blender. And I'm going to start kind of filling in this missing bit of skin. So next to intensify the gold, I might take this shadow right here, which is called Just a Kiss with the same brush. And I'm going to go right over the top of where we just placed that previous shadow. This colour's got a little bit more of a slightly glittery reflection to it, so I think it just looks a little bit more intense. And then to darken this look a little bit more, I'm going to take this brown, which is called Cheens, with the Real Techniques accent brush that we used earlier. And I'm going to really try and darken up the lash line. And I might even take a little tiny bit against the lower lashes too. And then I'm going to blend that out with this same shader brush from Real Techniques that we used earlier. Okay, so here is what the eyes are looking like now. I am so in love with this eyeshadow placement. I've been doing my eyeshadow like this every single day for weeks now and I can't seem to get away from it. I love the way that it makes my eyes look because I do have more almond shaped eyes but they are quite hooded. So I find that eyeshadow can really get lost on my eyes very easily but this style of shadow is so flattering on my eyes. It kind of pulls them out and elongates and lifts them and I just love the way that it makes my eyes look. It's super pretty and sultry but it still is dramatic but not too dramatic. It it is just such a beautiful style of makeup. I highly recommend giving it a bit of a go. It is so pretty and unique and I love the way that it looks. So I'm going to move on to eyeliner. So for liner, I did talk about these two options. I love both of these liners. This one from Stila is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Intense Black. This honestly has to be my favorite liquid liner of all time. I love it so much. It is so pitch black. It is so easy to apply. It is a felt tip, but it's really nice and flexible. So I find that I get a perfect wing every single time. It's never let me down. It doesn't dry out very quickly. It's got a little shaker ball in it, which I barely use because it really just doesn't dry up. I love it so much. It is my favorite liquid liner of all time. Even when you go to remove it with a oil or a balm cleanser, it still kind of leaves an outline. So it really is waterproof. It is fantastic. But the reason that I've been really enjoying these ones is strictly for the fact that they have colored liners. These ones you can't buy anymore, but if you can find this formula in the navy available at a local store that sells Stila, I highly suggest it. But this particular navy liner is called the Too Faced Sketch Marker in the shade Too Glam to Give a Damn. It is a really beautiful blue, so I figured for something different, let's go right ahead and apply this one. So I'm going to keep my liner really, really close to my lashes. And I'm only going to do a micro flick. So here is what the navy liner looks like and as you can see it doesn't look super navy. So I think if colour kind of scares you a little bit, navy is a really good option because it does look kind of like a black but there's just something a little bit more unexpected about it and I think this colour looks really nice against brown eyes. I think it's really really pretty, a little bit unexpected and a little bit different so that's definitely my makeup style. So I'm going to go right ahead and apply some mascara and I'm going to use my favourite mascara. This is the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara. I actually have already shown you guys the curling before but that's already empty so I'm going to go right ahead and use my volume mascara. Okay, so next for lashes, I've got two different styles of lashes from Gemma Isabella Cosmetics. The top ones are in the style Main Bay, and they're a lengthening, long, fluffy pair. These second ones are a little bit more dramatic, and they're in the style Boss Girl. They're a little bit more of a cat eye shape, and they're a little bit more clustery and spiky. So I think with this look, I'm probably going to go for the style Main Bay, which are the top ones. Okay, so let's do a before and after. So here are what my eyes look like without the lashes. 
And then here are what the eyes are looking like with the lashes. So you can see there's such a pretty lengthening set of lashes. They're quite soft and fluttery and wispy, but they really do give your lashes some length. So you can see I also went right ahead and I started to fill it in my brows as well because to be honest, I've done my brows a million and one times on camera, but I ended up using this little sample of the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And then I went in with this product right here from Benefit. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade Medium Deep. Deep. So this has been repackaged and kind of updated. So they have proper shade names now, but this one is just called Medium Deep. So for lids, I'm actually going to be doing a little hack that I've been actually following from a bunch of different professional makeup artists' page, where they pretty much use a cream contour as a lip liner. So I've actually been doing that a lot with this product right here. This is the Stila Shape and Shade Custom Contour Duo in the shade Deep. But I'm going to go right ahead and take the Zoeva 223 Cream Shader Brush, which I like to use for this trick, and I make a tiny bit of them both and then I pop it on the back of my hand and I pretty much mix until I get a color similar to this. So you can see it's a pretty dark contour but I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to start lining my lips. And I'm going to do the same tip that I've done all year where I basically straighten out my cupid's bow. And then for lip colors, I've really been enjoying my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. I've got three favorites here. I've got Supernatural, Truffle, and this one from the Minnie Mouse collection. This is the shade Bountiful or Bowtiful, B-O-W-T-I-F-U-L. But all of these I've been really enjoying this year. I actually did a full swatch video, which I'll leave in the link up here for you guys to watch later on. But it was such a fun video to film and I found so many favorites. So I think I'm gonna go in with the lightest one right here, which is the shade Supernatural. So I'm gonna to take that one straight into the center of the lip and press my lips together and then I'm going to take that same brush and lightly blend the two together and then to blend them even more, I'm going to go in with my Dose of Colors Mickey Mouse Lip Gloss in the shade One and Only and just apply that right through the center of the lip to just blend them through and give me a little bit more of a glossy finish. And then to lock everything in, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay and Mechalan All Nighter Setting Spray in the scent Summer Solstice. So yeah guys, this is the finished look featuring all of my 2020 yearly favorites. I had so much fun creating this. I mean, who wouldn't have fun using all of their favorite products in one look? I feel like this look just makes me feel really confident and pretty. And I think it's just such a wearable glam look. Like I think it's such a fun one for you guys to recreate. So please let me know and tag me if you guys do. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, then you guys know what to do. Please feel free to leave me a like, comment and leave any requests that you have down below in the comment bar. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and drag it all the way down to all to become a part of this family and be notified of all my future videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I'm getting a little red, aren't I? Use my Dose of Colors videos. Huh? This patel patelic. This color right. It's so heavy. <laughs> Just this one? Hold on. It does condense really. Mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm not done yet. Hopefully soon. The top one are in this top one. But what you do is you take a two different styles. I'm shaking.